What is up, people? My name is Kale Jones, and I'm the main tuber. And today we are going to be checking out how to improve your uh, sniping skills in Black Ops 2. Um, so first thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to make sure you got the map, your bots, and everything else. This is mainly if you just want to improve it. So you go offline and you use a certain gun to improve it, and you fight bots. Increase your bot's difficulty level as you uh, get better at sniping. Maybe even take off your friendly bots. But trust me, this is all for a very good reason. Um, first thing you're going to want to do, you're going to want to make sure that your map is correct. Uh, for all levels of snipers, I would highly recommend Standoff because it's got three very, 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 very good sniping spots that I really enjoy using. Um, you're going to want to make sure you've got two friendly bots, seven enemy bots, and you're going to set the difficulty to whatever you use. Uh, the friendly bots are mainly to uh, stop you from getting completely swarmed by enemies. So they're more like a distraction. You're going to want to edit the game rules. Uh, custom classes to 17. Uh, you can put the score and time limit to whatever you want. I normally put it to unlimited and 75 so that I'm not sitting here forever. Um, Okay, so then your class, your class you're going to want, for your sniper class, you're mostly going to want a DSR-50 with ballistic CPU and variable zoom. Now the variable zoom, on the other hand, is um, interchangeable. I would just never use ACOG unless you want to, like, go out onto the front lines and, uh, you know, just get up close and personal with people. But then again, you'd probably want a more higher rate of fire like the SVU or the XPR because they both have the same exact rate of fire. I just think the XPR is actually better in terms of damage, but definitely not as good as the uh, um, DSR-50. That's probably the best sniper rifle when it comes to damage. Um, so I just went for variable zoom for a very good reason too, you will see in the video. Uh, you're going to want a second primary, so you're going to want the overkill uh, wildcard. You most likely want to go for an SMG because they are very light, very portable, and they do lots of damage. So I normally go for the MP7. You can go for the Scorpion Evo. The, I would definitely not go for the Chickum, but because it's a three-round burst. But, you know, your life, your own decisions. I'd normally go for an ED Tech Sight, and make sure you choose something that you can actually aim with, not the Rocker or anything like that. I'd most likely do, if you're only using default, I'd mostly do uh, either ED dot hit mark spray or U dot. But with me, I downloaded the uh, 115 pack, so I got gear, which is actually very cool. Um, so then what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to have a wildcard perk to greed because your perks are going to be lightweight, toughness, and scavenger. The reason you want scavenger, you will see in the video, and then toughness is because, well, you will, you probably, you might not see, I don't know if I'll get shot at or not, but when you're getting shot at, if people hit you and you're trying to aim at someone, the person that's shooting at you, if you're trying to aim at them and kill them with one shot, you're not going to want to flinch around a ton, just blah, 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 blah. So then you miss and you end up dying, and then extreme conditioning, again, you'll see that in the video. You're going to want either claymores or bouncing Bettys, I would most likely go for claymore. Do not go for C4 because you will need to actually check your back here and there. Plus it kind of makes scavengery useless. So I'd most likely go for claymore or bouncing Betty. And then shock charges just as a kind of indicator. By the way, you're going to want danger close also. Um, for your score streaks, the care package is optional. You can replace it with whatever you want. Canine units, swarm, uh, VTOL, stealth chopper, Hellstorm, RCXD, Hunter Killer, whatever. I mostly go for Care Package because I could get any of them. Um, then you're also going to want Sentry Gun and Guardian. So that's actually very, uh, it's actually very useful. And you will see in the video if I do get the um, Sentry Gun or the Guardian. So I'd say let's go. Um, yeah.
Okay, so first of all, you are going to want to select your sniper class. Okay, so the first sniper spot is up here. Now, I would highly recommend it for people that are good about setting claymores and traps and such. Because it's not exactly the most secure sniping spot, but it works. It's very hard to hit you in. So, noob snipers, um, I would highly recommend to use this. Because it's kind of harder to hit you on. Plus, it's actually kind of a good vantage point. Uh, and with the ballistic CPU, you don't exactly have to worry about holding your breath steady. And you can just easily and quickly scope someone out and kill them. Um, what the heck? People can't possibly know where I am already, so they must be shooting at someone else. So yeah, for noob snipers, I'd recommend this spot. It's a good vantage point. Because it's still a good spot. Plus, you could either hide behind the wall, or you could go prone in order to avoid getting shot at. Like if people are shooting at you with a machine gun, just hide behind the wall. You know, it's easy to avoid getting hit. Um, I obviously hit that dude. There was just no hit marker. See, boom, there's someone, get, there's someone shooting at me. Should be shooting at me. And that is why you have uh, toughness. Except this person is obviously hacking. No, I'm kidding. I'm not even online, so there can't be any hackers. I'm using bots. I'm using biggie bots. Anyways, um... So, the main good thing about uh, Standoff is because there are three sniper spots right up there, right up there, and right up there. If you want to get three snipers in all three of them, you, you pretty much own this entire street, except for behind that building there. But then again, enemies are not going to stay behind there for long, because eventually you're all going to go in there with your MP7s and flush all of them out. Besides, there are ways you can actually hit people. Um, if they are back here, uh, you could just, like, stand somewhere. Or you could, like, place your Claymores and Mounting Bettys over there, if you have nothing else to do. Okay, so on to the next sniping spot. It is going to be up in here. Okay, so what you're going to want to do to prepare this one, you're going to want to put a shock charge here and put a claymore down the stairs. Trust me, they cannot get up here. At least not through the stairway. And now we've got someone trying to come up here. See, this I'd mostly, I'd most likely recommend put a guardian right there. If you have it, if not, a simple shock charger or claymore will work. Um, this spot, they will find you pretty easily in. Stop trying to be a sniper. But in all seriousness... People can find you pretty easily up here. It's not exactly the best for stealth, but you get someone up here and someone in those other two spots. Like I said earlier, you will own the street. Ah, oh, crap. He's got freaking shield and... You know, I really hate people with flak jacket. Unless they're on my team, but then again, I think that's everyone. Um... Yeah, I just threw that shock chart in a random place because, you know. Okay, so if you've got a sentry turret, you just put it right there. You always go up a little bit. Don't pick up the claymore. Um, you go up here, control sentry gun, check the angle. Angle seems good. You can just kill someone easily if you're the sentry turret. Um, that's, that seems good. Okay. See, boom, right there. I just shot that guy in the button. He died. And then if people die up here on the rooftop, it is... Easy, easy peasy to get ammo. Um, okay, so the main reason you've got this gun instead of any other gun is to make quick ammo runs. Okay, so after you kill a bunch of people down here, which I have not done, or actually have done, I just didn't come down here to collect the ammo in time, you've got the scavenger ammo perk, and, well, of 
course it just gives you ammo, you know? Yeah. Kinda, kinda what it does. Okay, so you got your scavenger ammo perk. And pretty much what it does is it gives you ammo. Are you freaking kidding me? I just died. Freaking douche nozzle. You, you didn't even shoot me. You didn't even shoot me. You knifed me right in the neck. Okay, so you've got this to make little ammo runs. You know, make yourself a bit more speedy quick. Jack be nimble, jack be quick, jack jump over the candlestick, jack don't trip over your big fat dick. Yeah, whatever you want to call it, I don't care anymore. Um, so yeah, this is actually a pretty good sniping spot. Um, wouldn't recommend it though for people that aren't very good at taking cover where than they need to. Or just that aren't good at sniping it in general. If you're new to sniping, but you're not new to laying traps because you're a dirty little freaking camper, then I'd highly recommend going up there. But if you can't lay traps very well, but you're decent at sniping, go up here. Um. Well, okay then, that just blew up, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, so now that we've still got everything that we need, See, this is why you've got the MP7, so that if you need to move from sniping spot to sniping spot, boom, you can just shoot him. Okay, so then there's this spot. This is another spot that will allow you to take full control over the street. If you have a sentry turret, it's simple as putting your sentry turret right there. That's probably the main area where people are going to try to come in. Then you just place your claymore right there. Then for this section, you put your claymore, or you could take the other claymore that I put over here. Since it's kinda useless with the sentry turret. Uh, you can put your guardian right here and place both claymores so that if someone has flak jacket they can't really avoid it. And then I just place my shock charges here and here. And then bada bing, bada boom, you're set. You are all a-okay. You cannot die up here. Except for people attacking you from the front. Because in all seriousness, people can't just stay back to get away from the claymores. Like, literally. You have to walk around the corner sometime, Jagoff. Ah, crap. That was a freaking fail. See, the main reason I've got... I did not want the freaking guardian. I wanted the care package. Of course, the care package. No! Stop shooting my fans. Uh, so, yeah, those two uh, friendly bots, they're pretty much just distractions, but, you know, keeping them alive kind of. kind of makes them be distractions for even longer. And, you know, that's kind of a good thing, you know, right? I have never used Lodestar before. So. Let's try out Lodestar. Uh, but in all seriousness, you know, this is actually a pretty good spot, even for oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm using a love star. And then if you, uh... Boom! Okay, but if you've got, like, a controlled, uh, kill streak like the load star, it's easy. Because you camp in one of these spots while you're using the load star. And, well, whatever. It just kills people. You kill people using your controlled kill streak. And your traps will take care of the other people. And besides, if you've got a load star, it's pretty much impossible for people to get to you. So, yeah, as we see there, I used a load star. Yay, I'm professional. Uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching this uh, quick little tutorial on how to enhance your sniping skills. Um, again, use this class, uh, the variable zoom, and the MP7 as your second weapon is optional. But it's a lot more recommended uh, using that map is optional. But one thing I would highly recommend 
is making sure you have a couple of friends if you want to just completely take over the entire place. Um, because that's just fun, you know? Who doesn't want to take over an entire street using sniper rifles, you know? You know, just get two of your buddies and just wreck them. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Well, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to give that like button a good round of applause because he's a really good pal. And I will see all of you fans the next time I set the stage. So goodbye to the gentlemen and the ladies. Wink, wink.